Alright, video reaction time. The video is called Why the YouTube Algorithm Will Always Be a Mystery. So let's watch. Back when online video was a different shape, searching for videos on YouTube relied on, well, honesty, really. Creators would put up yeah. a video, they would tell YouTube uh -huh. what was in it, and yes, YouTube would rely on the honest, description honesty. of the tags and take it from there. Yeah. And immediately, yeah. people tried to cheat. It turned into an arms race, keyword yes. stuffing, tag spam, the reply girls of 2012. If there yeah. was any way to guess mm. the YouTube algorithm's priorities, then spammers exploited it, and desperate video creators changed what they were making to fit what they thought YouTube wanted, based on rumour, speculation, and extrapolating mm. way too much from yep. way too little it's, data. It's still so a struggle recently, now. YouTube is it's just still a struggle what? now to figure out Google the YouTube the algorithm. Online it's video still with a real struggle. fire window, and connecting to the internet still. sounded like the screeching of a robot cat. If Google ever gave a hint about how to boost websites up their search results, then there would be a rush of spammers trying to exploit that knowledge. So the advice was always, just make good things. We'll figure it out. Mm. But now on YouTube, it's not that the folks who control the algorithm won't tell people how it works, it's that they can't. And here is the evidence, a paper written by YouTube engineers explaining that they're using Google's research into machine learning to recommend videos. That is the same kind of software that creates those weird deep dream images, that makes their text-to-speech sound so realistic, and that beat the world's best Go player at his own game. And I know I'm simplifying a bit here, but machine learning, the way Google does it, is basically a black box. You give a neural network some input, like the game board in Go, and it gives you outputs, moves it thinks might work. Those outputs are tested, and the results go back into the box, and then you repeat that process a billion or so times, and mm. it starts to get really good. But no one can look inside that black box and see how it works. Well, it's designed error. by a computer mm. for a computer. And neural networks are great if you're playing a game with an obvious scoring and point system. You win or you lose. Mm. But testing a black box yeah. on YouTube videos is a bit messier. It's not just that human behavior is yeah. unpredictable and complicated. It's trying to work out what counts as winning in the first place. If YouTube tells the algorithm, yeah. show videos that people like, then it'll kill any channel which talks about politics, where people hit dislike if they disagree. Mm. And it'll silence anyone who has a small but vocal group loudly disagreeing with them. If YouTube tells the algorithm, OK, show videos that people share, then videos about private things like medical issues or sex education vanish, and folks who have a small, loyal, but quiet fan base disappear into their own little world. And YouTube creators, of course, would love the algorithm to recommend only their own videos, even when the rest of the world doesn't actually want to watch them. So YouTube started out, according to the paper, giving their algorithm the reasonable goal of increase watch time. But that has a few problems because there's no way for a computer to determine quality or truth, at least not yet. The system doesn't understand context, it can't tell the difference between actual reliable information and unhinged paranoid conspiracy clickbait. Although, admittedly, neither can a lot of people, which is why these videos are getting a lot of traction. And it can't tell the difference between videos that are suitable for children, made with education in mind, and creepy trademark infringing unofficial efforts. It just knows what kids click on and what they watch. So sure, mm -hmm. the algorithm might increase watch time in the short term, but a lot of the videos it recommends are going to be questionable at best and actively harmful at worst. And they're going to be the sort of thing that advertisers get really nervous about. Remember, the algorithm is a black box. No one knows what it's doing. All YouTube can do is change yeah. the feedback it's getting, change the signals that say, this is good or this is bad. If YouTube wanted a human to watch and categorize every video being uploaded as safe or unsafe in real time, they would need about 100,000 employees working shifts around the clock. Plus, that would expose wow. them to legal issues. In most of the countries where YouTube has an office, if you let an algorithm do the filtering and then manually step in when you get a complaint, you're legally fine. But if you approve everything with a human in the loop, wow. you are a publisher and you're opening yourself up to some very expensive lawsuits. The ideal algorithm the ideal black box, from YouTube's point of view, will be one with a goal of increased ad revenue, and which thought about the long term, which knew about social issues, and potential advertiser boycotts, and financial strategies, and public perception, and what's suitable for kids, and, and about truth. At which point, what you have is something that can do the job of mm -hmm. YouTube's senior management team, and artificial intelligence hasn't gotten that good. At least, not yet. Okay.
Alright, so that video was, the video's over, it's done playing, and my thoughts on it, very interesting, very interesting. So what does this mean? What does this mean for smaller YouTubers? Uh, it's going to be a struggle. You, us smaller YouTubers are going to struggle, 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 struggle. Struggle, struggle. There may be one video that might go up, 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 but for a lot of times it's going to be a struggle, 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 all, oh, struggle, 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 all. Oh. It is going to be rough. It is going to be a struggle. So don't expect to get your first viral hit right out of the freaking gate like that. Just don't expect it. Do YouTube because you like it. Don't just do YouTube for the freaking money, okay? Because if you're doing it for the money, then you are going to be very, very disappointed. And also, the fact that it's going to, it would take about 100,000 people just to keep track of what videos to recommend and stuff like that. Wow, that is just interesting. That's that would that's interesting. So yeah, the YouTube algorithm is a mystery. I wish there was a way that where you can exploit it to where small it can help smaller YouTubers, you know, get known, but I mean, it's YouTube. YouTube does want it was it ugh. YouTube does what it wants. Whether we like it or not, it does what it does. The people at YouTube do what they do, regardless if we like it or if we don't so yeah very interesting video what do you guys think of the video let me know in the comments below see you guys later in peace please like the video people please like the freaking video people come on help a brother out help a brother out help me out trying to make it big in this youtube game if you know what I'm saying, trying to make it big in this YouTube thing. I think I got some here. I think I got something here. But yeah, follow me on Twitter. And yeah, just like the video and subscribe.